Jesus Christ. And, <laughs> and uh, to my immediate right, uh, Kelvin Hopkins Jr., who set the uh, bowl record for touchdowns rushing in a game <laughs> and was named the game MVP. So we'll go ahead and open it up to uh, questions, and then we'll uh, get on to Coach. Steven? Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. The sling is, is just precaution, just a little banged up there. And uh, the training staff thought it would be more comfortable for me to keep it up and things like that. But it's nothing serious, so nothing to be worried about. But um, And just today was a great day, great Army football win. Uh, it was just um, the play. Uh, the play developed the way I, I didn't expect it to, and uh, uh, the pitch key got on me kind of fast, and uh, things kind of happened faster than I wanted it to, as far as the way the play was supposed to go. And uh, you know, it was just uh, just trying to make a play for the guys. You know, just trying to get back to the line of scrimmage, and I was able to to bust through. And there was some great blocks downfield. And uh, I mean, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, there was a huge convoy of guys right there when I was running in. And, uh, you know, that was exciting. Uh, I was running, and I just felt like people on me. So I thought it was Houston, and I realized they were gray jerseys. So that was nice. But uh, yeah, I mean, it was a great, it was, it was a really good team run. Calvin, what's it mean to you guys to get to 11 win for the first time in school history? Obviously, it's a big deal. Is that It's a great feeling. You know, that was one of the goals we set out with at the beginning of the season to be the winningest team in Army football history. and. Uh, you know, and, and and to finish the season with that goal achieved is, is an amazing feeling. Uh, to do it for these seniors, uh, you know, those guys, they, they came in, they were 2-10. And, ten, and uh, you know, that's never easy. And a lot of people could have packed it in and, and, and been okay with that or, you know, okay with just getting a few more wins than they did the year before. But uh, the senior class, they were excited to continue to work and, and make sure that we were just as excited as they were. So to, to have this transformation and be a part of it is an exciting feeling. Um, I'd say the biggest thing, it went well because we got a bunch of guys who are just uh, just savages, to be honest. Um, we got a bunch of guys who go after it and get after it every single play. So, um, you know, we got some talented guys, but the biggest thing is we got a whole bunch of tough guys that get after it. So I'd say, um, you know, we wrote our own destiny today with, uh, with our attitude that we came into this game with. Yeah, um, in a sense, I think, uh, you know, Coach Coach Luce took over his D coordinator and he's calling the plays, and uh, he's he loves the blitz. So, I mean, we kind of knew it was coming. We didn't know how much he was going to do it, but, um, you know, he, he tried some things out and they were working, and, uh, you know, we just kept running it. Um, I mean, I think I think anytime you know we get a turnover as a defense, that's a, that's a big play. You know, that's one of the biggest things we can do. Um, you know, statistically, the more turnovers you get, the more likely you are to win the game. Um, you know, that, and that's that's a goal that that we've had is get a certain amount of turnovers every game. Um, there's been an emphasis on it in practice. You know, we have a period designed specifically for for turnover work, um, and so you know that's something that we really really enforce in practice, and it's it's something that. It's good to see you come to light in the game. As a defensive guy, how much are you watching the offense on the field? How much do you enjoy knowing that you don't have to try to stop these guys? I love it, especially in a game like this when Houston's offense is going a million miles an hour. Um, I mean, there's no way not to get tired. So when you get a nice long break and they beat it down 90 yards for a touchdown, um, you get to catch your breath and go back out there fresh. So it's good. Question, Ken. Just ask Kelvin, in the beginning of the early game, you were getting some counter plays to Jordan going to the right side, especially you had a couple of big yardage plays, and then you had a terrific pass play to, uh, to Joe Klein. Uh, just tell us about a couple of plays, why the offense was able to move the ball. Um, 
I, I think we had a really good game plan, and I think that was probably uh, the main reason. Um, I mean, it was in depth when we first put it in, and you know, a lot of guys we we, we knew that we were gonna have to focus in and, and and make things happen as far as the game plan before we even started making plays with our feet, our hands. So uh, just going into the game, just knowing that we had to execute those, those plays and things like that, I think that was probably the biggest thing. Uh, Coach Davis called a great game today. So. How does it feel setting you know, an offensive record and a defensive record in this bowl game? Well, I mean, it's a good feeling. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I, think, uh, I think this is the most complete game we played as a team where, you know, offense was clicking, defense was clicking, obviously. And, you know, and it was exciting to be a part of the energy on that sideline was amazing. And, uh, you know, it was I don't think that there was any flinch from anybody on the team as far as, you know, oh, somebody's not going to make a play or somebody's not going to do something. I think everybody was focused in, everybody was bought in, and it was exciting to be a part of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say the uh, biggest thing is that, you know, no one ever got discouraged. Um, you know, that first that first freshman year for everyone, uh, you know, a lot of those games were close football games. Um, I think seven under seven games were decided by less than seven points. And, uh, you know, we knew we had guys, and uh, it was just about keep putting that work in, and, you know, eventually it was going to pay off. And so, you know, that's one amazing thing about this team is that we have so many players that are so committed to each other. and. And uh, that's what's so special is we got so many guys that just go to work every single day. One or, one or two more here. <coughs> uh, I mean, the whole line, I mean, that's, that's exactly what it is. And, you know, just moving the line of scrimmage and, and, and getting those, those plays where, you know, it may not seem like a lot where it's four yards, three yards here, but, you know, you do four downs of that and you got a first down. And, uh, you know, and, and there was a few plays that, that broke for a little bit more than that. But, you know, just having the O-line that, that get them going, that's what eats up the clock, you know. And I think that's when they have a good game, we have a good game. So, you know, just to be behind those guys and for them to have played as well as they did today was awesome. Any last question for these guys? Ken, one more. I just say, um, you know, we're just so blessed that we've we've uh, been able to be successful for these past couple of years. And, you know, the true test to a legacy is, is how the guys following you carry that legacy on. And so um, it's going to be a big test for these guys next year to keep this thing rolling. And uh, I have no doubt that, you know, Kelvin and the rest of the guys out there are going to going to go out there and uh, repeat this thing and, you know, hopefully become the the most winningest uh, Army football team in history, get 12 wins, 13 wins next year. James, you um, Yeah. Um, off of that, I think, you know, I think you know, we, we had a good season, obviously. Um, we did we did some good things. And, you know, looking back on it, though, there's still room for improvement. Um, you know, don't – I think one of the things Coach Munkin really harps on is you never get satisfied. You know, always stay hungry. Um, keep looking to improve. And, you know, even though we're not going to be a part of the team next year, um, you know, we, we just – Hopefully, you set a set a precedent so that uh, the juniors now going to be seniors. Um, you know, will carry that on and look for improvements because there's there's still room to improve, and you know they can they can go on and do bigger things, and that's what we hope. All right, thank you, gentlemen. Congratulations.